I am talking today about the math pathways for course registration. And there are, as a ninth grader, there are four classes that you might be in right now or that you were in as a ninth grader. You either took in intermediate algebra, geometry, honors geometry, or honors advanced algebra. A few of you may have taken advanced algebra as a ninth grader, but that's pretty rare. And the flowchart that we use describes all the options you have. There are really a, lo a lot of options for you, for you to choose from. And if you have questions about what pathway is best for you, you can chat with your math teacher. They usually have some nice insight. Talk to your friends, see what they've, what pathways they've used. And today I'm just going to talk through a couple of the pathways so that you get a sense for typically what happens in a math course selection. So say you were an intermediate algebra ninth grade student. As a sophomore then, as a 10th grader, you had a couple of choices. You could have done geometry, or you could have doubled up and done geometry with advanced algebra. Then as a junior, if you just did geometry, you would then take advanced algebra. If you doubled up, you would then move past advanced algebra to pre-calc which allows for a few more options as a senior. Now you can choose between AP Calculus, you can do the IB SL math program, or you could take AP Statistics. And those are the core courses in the math program. Some of you may have started off in the honors program, and if you started off in honors as a ninth grader, you took honors geometry or honors advanced algebra. Then your options open up a little bit. You still have the same AP Calc, IBSL and AP Stats options, but now IBHL is open to you as a two-year program from AP Calc to IBHL. Use the flowchart, take a look at all the different possibilities that are available to you from ninth grade to twelfth grade, and talk to your friends and your parents and your math teachers to get a feel for what pathway is best for you. St. Louis Park High School has high quality music programs and we encourage you to become part of these successful groups. Here are a few things all music classes have in common. Everyone can find a group where they'll fit in. All ensembles or groups are full year courses, except for world drumming, which is a one semester course. All groups give public performances. All groups travel, and nearly all students have the opportunity to go on tours. All areas of music offer ensembles for advancing skill levels. Here are a few specifics for the various areas within high school music. The band program offers a ninth grade band where some band experience is required. Symphonic band is for students in grades 10, 11, and 12. Wind ensemble is offered to students in grades 9 through 12, but requires both an audition and instructor approval. Jazz band is an audition group that meets before school. The choir program offers women's choir to all incoming ninth grade women and to any female students new to St. Louis Park High School. Concert Choir is open to 10th, 11th, and 12th grade students and 9th grade boys, but requires an audition and instructor approval. Park Singers is open to 10th, 11th, and 12th grade students and requires a series of auditions and meets outside of the school day. Orchestra is open to 9th through 12th grade students, but requires orchestra experience. Chamber Orchestra is open to 9th through 12th grade students, but requires previous experience, an audition, and instructor approval. Chamber Orchestra meets outside the school day. There is a place for everyone in the music department at St. Louis Park High School.
I'm talking to you about the health classes at the high school that you will be able to take. Uh, health is actually called uh, embedded health, and you'll have health classes grades 9 through 12 in the high school. Um, there are two embedded health teachers, uh, myself, and I teach 9th grade health, 11th and 12th. Uh, my counterpart is Amy Bircham, and she teaches uh, 10th grade embedded health and also 11th and 12th grade as well. Um, the uh, health classes are required for graduation and they um, are embedded into your schedule. So you actually don't um, uh, register for these classes, but you will get out of some of your core classes to come down and take health in our classrooms. So you'll have, and you'll see how it works, you'll have um, 12 health classes during your ninth grade year, your 10th grade, 11th grade, and then 12th grade. And you'll be, they'll be embedded from your science, your social studies, and your English classes. So you will have a grade for this class and you'll receive a quarter credit to total one credit um, required for graduating from high school. Um, there are different topics that we talk about in ninth grade. We really focus on um, decision making and speaking up for yourself. So we talk about se um, sexual uh, health decision making, we talk about drugs, um, and we talk about being assertive and how to speak up for yourself. Uh, in 11th grade, we focus on personal health and community health. So things like nutrition, uh, body image, eating disorders, um, uh, stereotyping. And in 11th grade, we focus on um, uh, birth control and sec more sexual decision making. We talk about dating and relationships and also um, focus on STIs, uh, especially including HIV and AIDS. And 12th grade, the focus is really on uh, health and wellness after high school. And so we'll talk about different areas such as fitness and nutrition, um, again, sexual health decision making and community resources. And you will also um, become CPR certified during your 12th grade um, year as well. So it all um, gets put on your grade and you'll get a credit as well. Hi, my name is Jenna Splutzdozer and I teach the Intro to Culinary Arts class at St. Louis Park High School. In this class, you'll learn about the various aspects of culinary arts, including food safety and sanitation. As part of this, um, this curriculum, you will earn a, a Serve Safe certification, which you can use in the restaurant industry, the employee version of that. Uh, we'll be covering knife safety and knife skills, um, using both a chef knife and the parry knife. Um, you'll be using or learning about the basic, um, the proper way to measure ingredients using all different types of measuring, including weights. Um, we'll be going over a variety of cooking methods in this class, and I believe that's it. So I hope you sign up to take this class. Hi, my name is Sophia Ross. I teach fashion marketing and merchandising. And in this class, students will present a fashion merchandising promotion plan. So if you look over here on the right, um, students will develop an eight-week promotion plan for a store of their choice, one that currently exists. And this example happens to be for Banana Republic. And they developed a marketing campaign slash advertising campaign for Banana Republic. And their theme this year was Love Your Age. So this is one project that we'll be doing in class. Another project that students have the opportunity to do would be the um, Fashion Without Fabric project. And as you can see, here are some examples. We have everything from ping pong balls to duct tape to trash bags with beads, simple newspaper, and another example of a duct tape dress. So students will apply the elements and principles of design um, by creating a garment of their choice and then wearing that garment in a fashion show that you will also produce. It's a really fun project. 
Um, another thing that students will do, will, um, you guys will research the history of fashion and also start examining and researching current trends and trends that we will see in the future. I'm excited for you guys to take the class, sign up today, and we'll have a blast. Welcome to the English department. There are four years of English required for graduation. Please consider your college and career plans as well as your personal interests while making choices. Talk with your current English teacher for recommendations about courses that would be appropriate for you. Please note that IB and AP courses are available to all students who are looking for a college prep challenge regardless of the coursework you've taken in the past. Also, before you make any final decisions, please read the registration guide for prerequisites and course descriptions. To register for ninth grade, you need to register for either a full year of English 9 or Honors English 9. Honors moves at a faster pace with a more rigorous curriculum, and students who select it should be looking for an intellectual challenge. You may also uh, select one of two electives. They are each one semester long. You can select from journalism, a, which is a writing-based class, and theater arts. If you are registering for 10th grade, please note that you are required to take a full year of either English 10 or Honors English 10. There are additional semester-long electives available for 10th graders. Um, besides journalism and theater arts, you may choose from speech, cinema, small group communication, or creative writing. In addition, 10th graders may select either IB Film SL or IB Theater Arts SL. These are three semester courses and will be taken over two years. If you are registering for 11th grade, you have an additional full year required course choice. You may select either English 11 or one of two IB courses. There are two, the first course is IB Literature 11 at the higher level. The second course is IB Language 11 at the standard level. These are two year long courses and require you to register for them in 11th and 12th grade. There are many additional um, semester electives you can choose from. You may um, also select imaginative literature, advanced theater arts, argumentation, or academic writing. 12th graders have four courses they may select for the required full year course. The first option is one semester of stage literature plus one elective from the options below. The second choice is the second year of IB Literature 12 at the higher level. The third choice is AP Literature. Students who are looking for a college prep course and weren't enrolled in the higher level course before may select this as an option for a one-year course. Also, the second year of IB Language 12 at the standard level is also available. In addition, to, if you are an 11th or 12th grader next year, you can select from IB Film for three semesters, IB Theater Arts for three semesters, or you have three other choices. You can take Theory of Knowledge, which is a course that runs from spring semester junior year and through fall semester of your senior year. This discussion-based course considers discussion of universal truth and doubt. In addition, you can select either the newspaper or the yearbook, the Echo or the Echo On. These are full year courses. Um, you can pre-register for these now, but please be aware that these courses require an application process. Thank you. Oh, hey. I'm just playing a Java-based program game on my high-powered gaming PC. Two things that you can learn how to build in my classes, uh, Java programming and a computer tech. Uh, come with me over here for a moment. This is our 3D printer, uh, the MakerBot. In my business innovations class, we use this to come up with an engineering design, create our own custom product, and then incorporate into a business that we create. This year, my students made some uh, customized headphones. You can see they made me Sonic the Hedgehog ones. Uh, their business was actually quite successful and it made, uh, turned a profit and my students made some money while doing it. So if you're interested in any of these classes, uh, come talk to me. My name is Mr. Utitis. I'd be more than happy to uh, give you some more information.
in social studies, the state requires that students meet five um, standards, civics or government, U.S. history, world history, geography, and economics. So our normal progression is that in ninth grade, you are all taking some level of civics and that will meet your state requirement for government. In 10th grade, all students take a level of world history. In 11th grade, they take some form of U.S. history. And in 12th grade, we meet a, um, the economics and geography requirements. So if you are going into 10th grade, you have three choices for your world history um, course. There is a regular world history, there's an advanced placement world history, and there's an advanced placement European history. These all meet the world history requirements. Now, a question that comes up for every grade level is how do you decide whether to take a regular level course or an AP or IB course? All choices are open to all students, and you can take AP or IB even if you were not in honors or AP the year before. So you should, first of all, if you're not sure, ask your current teacher what he or she thinks the best level would be for you. And then consider how much time are you willing to spend on your homework? How much do you enjoy social studies? Is this the curricular area where you would be best placed in AP or IB? And what are your future goals or plans? Are they something that is related to social studies? In 11th grade, everyone will take some form of U.S. history. Again, we have a regular U.S. history an advanced placement U.S. history. Those are both full year courses. And we also have an IB History of the Americas, HL. Uh, if you take IB History of the Americas, you are enrolling in a two year course. The 11th grade course is History of the Americas. It meets your U.S. history requirement, but it does do history of North and South America. And the second year will be a 20th century world history course that you would take as a senior. So let me talk for just a minute about the difference in social studies between advanced placement and IB classes. They're both challenging classes. They both offer uh, college credit if you pass the test at the end, and they both use college level textbooks. They both expect you to read and study independently and to read well. Uh, the difference is in basic philosophy, AP's approach to curriculum is much broader um, and you get a lot of breadth, so you kind of get the beginning to end of the subject. It's a survey course, whereas IB's approach to the curriculum is to do a smaller, smaller pieces of curriculum in much more depth. In 12th grade, the standard level choices would be one semester of economics and one semester of geography. If you want to take an AP or IB course, you have several choices, AP economics, uh, that's actually two separate semester courses. One is microeconomics, one is macroeconomics, and those are two separate tests. Uh, AP Psychology, which is a full year, or IB History. The IB History senior year course is 20th century world history. That can be taken on its own. If you're entering IB History for the first time as a senior, that would be an SL course, or it can be the second year uh, if you took IB as a junior, it would be taken at the HL level, but it's the same basic curriculum. There are two social studies courses, um, or two academy courses that are related to social studies. In 10th grade, one of your choices is foundations of law, and in 11th grade, uh, you can choose criminal justice for your academy course. And finally, if you are interested in taking an AP or IB uh, course next year, the Social Studies Department does request that you fill out an application. You will have to have that application into your Social Studies teacher, and that application has several things that you are agreeing to. We don't actually use the application to reject students for the course. You are signing, you and your parents, though, are signing off that you understand the expectations of the course. So please read it carefully, read it with your parents, make sure you sign it if you want to register for one of those courses. Thanks. Hi, my name is Jenna Spletzilzer and I'm one of the instructors for Personal Financial Management. This class is offered for 11th and 12th grade students and it is one of our academy courses at the high school. This class is vital, to help, vital in helping you prepare for your financial future. In this class we will cover a variety of topics including banking, income, taxes, 
uh, budgeting, saving and investing, credit, identity theft, and insurance. All the topics that you'll need to know for your financial future. Hello, my name is Sophia Ross. I will be teaching Introduction to Marketing, a Business Academy course for juniors and seniors. In this class, we start off by teaching the functions of marketing, and students will develop a marketing plan for a new doll of their choice. Um, in addition to that, students will do a professional sales presentation and sales demonstrations in the class. And we also have a case study project in where students will research the customer service of a current business and analyze that information and create a new customer service plan for a business. Um, in addition, the, in the class, students have the opportunity to participate in DECA. DECA is an association of marketing students that builds leadership and professional skills in the areas of business, marketing, management, and entrepreneurship. Hi students! If you are a junior or senior for next school year and you currently hold a position, you might qualify for our business internship. The internship program is an uh, experiential learning opportunity outside of the school in which students can earn credit by completing so many hours in a place of business. You can do it in the areas of business, marketing, technology, or hospitality, so culinary students if you want to be a chef's assistant, let's get you on the internship credit. Again, juniors are seniors, and there's many different ways to get your credit. So stop by and talk to myself, Ms. Ross, or Ms. Uh, Spudstozer and learn more about the internship opportunity. The Art Tech department offers a wide variety of art and technology courses that will allow you to tap into your creative side. All courses have a hands-on, project-based learning environment which will allow you to explore real-world problems and challenges, allowing you to gain a deeper knowledge of the subject you are learning while still having fun. You'll get the opportunity to create something that is customizable to your interests within that given area. Our courses range from painting, drawing, pottery, photography, web page design, media arts, as well as woodworking, construction, and engineering. We have classes that will let you explore your areas of interest, as well as give you the opportunity to explore new areas that you may not have already considered. Hi students! Exciting plans! You're getting ready for your next uh, year's classes. So any of you who are current sophomores and you're looking for your junior and senior level classes, and you're interested in finance, business, management, marketing, or analytics, you should be taking accounting. We teach an accounting program here called an integrated approach. You will learn everything from the basic accounting equation. What do you own? What do you owe? And what's your equity? To income statements and balance sheets. The course is very fun. You learn a lot. And it's a mandatory course for anybody pursuing degrees in business. I'd love to see you in class. Hello, my name is Sophia Ross. I'm going to be teaching community service next year. And in this class, if you're looking to make a difference in somebody's life, this is the class to take. Not to mention, it looks great on a resume and college applications. Um, in this class, it runs a little bit, um, it's non-traditional, where we meet in class Mondays and Fridays. On Mondays, we're working in the bird feeder, um, packing backpacks for students to take home during the weekend. And then on Fridays, you are actually reflecting on the service learning that you do in class. On Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, you will be out volunteering in the community. Most students choose to go to an elementary school and act as a big buddy to other students in our district. 
but the choice is yours. So if you're interested in community service, um, this will be the class for you. Uh, it's non-traditional. You do need to be reliable, provide your own transportation, and have great attendance. Looking forward to seeing you in the class. Thank you. So in the physical education department, there is one required physical education class required for all ninth graders. All ninth graders must get this credit, earn this credit, and pass in order to graduate. In this class, you're going to improve your physical health and wellness. You will assess your current level of fitness, interpret what it means, and work to improve it. Some of the activities you will do include volleyball, badminton, tennis, water polo, ultimate frisbee, and other games. And in order to take a physical education elective, you must have this credit. Moving on, some of the electives that you can choose from, the first one I'm going to talk about is team sports. And team sports, it's a highly competitive class. Uh, it offers more sophisticated game strategies as you participate in team activities. And the units include touch football, softball, badminton, basketball, volleyball, floor hockey, broomball, team handball, water polo, and ultimate frisbee. And the class is set up with team drafts. So team captains will be picked, and in private, you will pick your teams. Then you're going to have tournament or league play, and according to your record, then you will head into the unit championships to see who wins the league. And each unit will be different, different teams, so the outcomes can be different for every championship or every unit that we have. Team sports is offered for the motivated physical education student. So you might be asking, who takes this class? Juniors and seniors only. Okay, so juniors and seniors only. The highly motivated PE student, the student who has no problem changing every day, coming to class on a daily basis because you can understand how important attendance is when you have a team and everybody needs to be there for success leading towards that unit championship. The next elective is rec sports. And this class is for the student who is looking for a course to foster a lifelong interest in physical activity and fitness, but in a less competitive environment than team sports. Units may include volleyball, basketball, badminton, water polo, tennis, softball, ultimate frisbee, kickball, and broomball. And as you can see, some of these are activities that you can join in a community league when you're an adult in a recreational setting. So who takes this class? It's open to all sophomores, juniors, and seniors looking for, you know, maybe a way to get out of your desk for an hour a day to go take a class that, you know, kind of mimics your physical education class, um, but a less structured environment just to go and play games. And then New Moves. New Moves is a class for girls only that focuses on discovering how to improve health and fitness while also practicing ways to manage stress. This class is designed for students who are looking for ways to be physically active in a less competitive environment. Activities include yoga, weightlifting, kickboxing, and some team individual sports, uh, occasional swimming, and other games. Only highly motivated students will be approved for this class. So who takes this class? Sophomore, junior, and senior girls looking for a way to stay active. Maybe you can't fit it into your schedule. Maybe you're stressed out and having a hard time with your academic schedule, and you are looking for a way to manage your stress, be active, and you'd like to work on some activities to improve your flexibility, improve your cardiovascular endurance and your strength. Uh, a uniform is required for all PE classes daily. It consists of a t-shirt, mid-thigh length shorts, and workout pants and tennis shoes. It is not provided for, by the school, so you can bring that from home. And do your body and mind a favor. Get up out of your desk for an hour a day. Take a physical education elective. Do you guys remember how great recess was? As far as science graduation requirements, just a quick reminder that you need six credits of science, that's three years to graduate, um, and also another reminder uh, that you have to take uh, the MCA science test in biology. So all students are required to take biology or life science to graduate from uh, any school in the state of Minnesota. Another new requirement is all students uh, graduating in the class of 2015 and beyond must also take a class in chemistry or physics, and that's starting with this year's juniors. 
as a ninth grader, you took either ninth grade science or honors nine, which is AP Environmental Studies. Uh, so if you're going to register now as a 10th grader, your options really are just these three things, life science, biology, or IB chemistry. Life science and biology are very similar. You can read their descriptions in the, in the course catalog. Uh, I, life science is really geared towards students who um, struggle with reading or are below grade level in reading. Um, otherwise, you can see that they both cover uh, living organisms, structure, function, growth, e evolution, and cells. Uh, students who took Honors 9 or students who are, have strong math skills or have a desire to be challenged in science could elect as a sophomore to take IB Chemistry, and IB Chemistry is a three-semester course. So those are the three offerings for most 10th graders. I, I put in bold biology because that's the most, uh, most sophomores will register to take biology. Uh, jumping into 11th grade, 11th grade now we have some more options for you. Uh, so if you are a student who uh, maybe struggled in science uh, in grades 9 and 10, you could take an intro chem or an intro physics course. Just note that these are semester courses and they're offered every other year. Next year, physics will be offered. Uh, another course offering, which is a semester course, is environmental studies. Uh, if you have struggled in science or need to take an elective in science, you could also register for environmental studies. Um, this course is gonna look at interactions within ecosystems um, and how different factors affect uh, climate change. Uh, most juniors will sign up to take general chemistry. This is a year-long course that's going to look at the composition of matter, uh, the changes it undergoes. It'll include fun things like atomic structure, the periodic table, the mole, everyone's favorite stoichiometry, and also energy. Uh, continuing on with 11th grade, uh, 11th graders who t elected to take the first two semesters of IB chemistry um, can elect to take the third. Uh, the third semester students then will take the IB Chem test at the end of the school year. Uh, IB Chem students may have to double, double up and also take the IB Bio HL1, which is the first year of a two-year course in the study of living things. Um, topics are going to include things, uh, the structure and function of cells, chemistry of life, genetics, ecology, um, and also some more fun topics. A new class that we're going to be offering next year is another IB course, which is IB Sports, Exercise, and Health Science. Uh, this is a year-long uh, standard level IB course that's going to focus on a lot of the same things as biology does, um, anatomy, physiology, biomechanics, nutrition, but in the context of sport, exercise, and health. And that's open for 11th graders starting next year. Uh, jumping into 12th grade, um, if, if you're short of some credits as a senior and, or you need some electives, you could elect to take the intro physics or intro chemistry as a senior. Again, those are offered every other year. It's a semester course. Next year, again, it's going to be physics. Um, you could also elect to take environmental studies, which is an elective. Uh, it's a semester course that focuses on ecosystems and the environment. Most seniors, again, will elect to take uh, uh, physics which is going to focus on motion, forces, electricity, and energy. This course also has some uh, numerous labs and several building projects where students will have a competition in different building projects. Uh, the last three, uh, four offerings for seniors, uh, s seniors who have done well in math and science could elect to take IB physics instead of just regular physics. Um, those students will have the opportunity to take the IB physics exam at the end of the school year. Uh, you could also elect to take the second year of the HL1 class, which we call HL2. Um, and students will take the uh, IB Bio HL test at the end of the school year. Uh, you could also elect to take an AP Environmental Studies course, um, which is going to focus on interrelationships of the natural world. And students will take the AP Environmental exam at the end of the year. Or again, you could elect to take the IB Sports Exercise and Health Science class, which will be, be uh, new next year. So those are the course offerings uh, in the science department. There's obviously some variation in what you can take, but
but you do have to make sure that you take six credits, you have to take a camera physics, and you also have to take a biology or life science class. Hi, my name is Sophia Ross, and welcome to School Store Operations, the Decastorial. If you choose to take this class, you will have an opportunity to actually manage the school store. Yes, the school store will be your business. You get to do everything from choosing and ordering product, promoting the product and creating advertising campaigns, dressing mannequins, um, creating window displays, pricing product, training and employees, figuring out all of the books as far as the financials go for the POS system. Um, you'll be looking at our sales and analyzing our sales to figure out how we could increase or um, improve our sales with our customers. So you'll be able to do all of this during this particular class. So I'm going to bring you over to the POS system to kind of show you what that looks like because you'll be operating that on a daily basis. So this is the POS system. POS stands for point of sale. This is where you will be ringing in all of the customer's transactions. Um, for the most part, all you need to do is scan in merchandise and it rings up over here. It's as easy as that. <laughs> um, it is a touch screen, so everything is um, up to date using the latest technology, very similar to what most retail businesses are using. So you'll be able to operate this and put this on your resume as well. So I look forward to meeting you. Hopefully you take school store operations and we can start planning the school store as soon as you sign up. Classes in the special education department include language arts, math, science, and social studies. A variety of classes and levels are offered to meet student needs. Strategies for Success class is another class offered in the Special Education Department. This is a supported study hall which includes organization skills, test-taking strategies, note-taking, as well as individual help with homework. This is a credited course. Each student in the Special Education Department is assigned a case manager. The case manager can assist with scheduling, problem solving, and will facilitate all paperwork related to the individualized education plan. 